Hey, Robsa here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Ghetto Engine to do a really nice thing. Uh, I'm going to be using an add on. Uh, let's go ahead and click on the S library and let it load. And uh, make sure your internet is not as crappy as mine. Yeah, tough times. <laughs> okay, let's let it load. It's going to take a while. It's for the first time. Okay, okay, yeah, I just wrote Sprite. You can write Sprite as well. And finally, this add-on called Sprite Mesh. I really love the icon there. It really fits the, you know, theme there. And uh, here's the add-on. It basically takes a 2D Sprite and turns into a 3D Mesh. And uh, you look at this beautiful example. Oh my God, I really want to do this. You know, you take them 2D Sprites and turn them into your you know 3d mesh and create a 3d environment by mi like mixing and matching stuff it's gonna be so cool really nice really want to do this so let's go ahead and download and uh, let it download okay we go download it and hit install to install it uh, it's uh it doesn't need to, to be activated but still whenever you install or add on you should check the plugin section in the project settings Close it and let's go to 3D. Uh, the thing is, you can create a 3D scene. I'm going to Control A and I'm going to search for a sprite, a sprite mesh instance right here. Let's create it and we got our node. And now you can use any sprite you want. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this sun off. It, I love, really like it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this egg here. Uh, for our first demonstration, I'm going to put the egg here, and just like that, we got a sprite of an egg. And uh, you can see it's pretty nice. I can orbit around it like that, and you can see it's so cool. Uh, and uh, as you can see, all that uh, these sides here match the color of these, you know, pixels that are on the corners. Uh, this makes it look way more natural and pretty nice. Let's go ahead and put something on. I'm going to be using this house chicken coop stuff and replace the sprite and immediately it just gets updated. And uh, let's hover around it and it's the same on the both side. Now, the trick is to use multiple different sprites to create, you know, these uh, meshes and then mix and match them and fit them to create a structure but uh, for a simple you know view like this this is pretty nice you got a 3d mesh that gives the of that you know oh my god what the fuck do you want microsoft oh do you want to cancel windows i'm gonna still you gonna use windows 10 whatever you want to do microsoft okay <laughs> let's just forget that uh I hate you, Microsoft. I'm going to use Windows 10. Okay, so we got uh, e, uh, our guy of Sprite. We can also change the thickness by go to the Mesh Properties. And the depth is actually the thickness. Make sure you don't increase it insanely too much. And the values here are quite, you know, sensitive. And yeah, you can also use the pixel size. I mean, how much is the size of, you know, the pixel in millimeters uh this is is good for measurement stuff but you can see i got a house here and i really like this uh also you can uh, you just get the there you go you got the texture here you can like go to a software and uh, you can like uh, uh, edit the texture so you can add something like here you can just do this and it's pretty cool uh, just like that uh, let's go ahead and test out some more features which my favorite one is the animation feature yes it can animate <laughs> let's go uh, i'm gonna get a spreadsheet of our character it should be here we got the character and i'm gonna go the basic character sheet 
uh, let's just not place it right here. So uh, I'm going to put it right there. And we got the character. Okay, we got the character. Let's just prevent the thickness. So it's normal. Okay, we got the character. All right, uh, it's a 3D mesh. These are all 3D. Now you, what you can do is you can count the horizontal rows and columns and interact them right here. I'm gonna like these are four, one, two, three, four, for horizontal and for vertical, one, two, three, four. And we got it right here. Now you can just change between the sprites. And we got a character that also animates. Uh, I showed in a video, uh, let me turn on the sun. Now, I showed in a video how you can animate using the uh, sprite sheet, you know, the sprite. And this is the same logic. You, If you see all of these properties uh, and you go ahead and uh, go to a, even a 2D scene, control A, add a sprite 2D, a simple sprite 2D, and go to the animations option. You can see all of these options are right here. And I showed in my, uh, you know, the animation video how you use this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link that in the description. But uh, it basically used the animation player to, uh, you know, key, like keyframe all these, fr uh, these frame property uh, like that to animate. And it's pretty darn cool. And you can just use it as a 3D character in your HD 2D game. I mean, most of the games now use, you know, the simple 2D, like, moving papers but you can do something different and have these meshes and you can customize the thickness uh it's just like it's depth is one i'm going to do is just point two uh, i'm sure yeah you can actually do that oh man, oh man this add-on is amazing i thought shh, wow really nice so slim and smart so that's about all the features but this gives you so much possibilities this like options for skeletons there's option for you know stuff like uh, materials and geometry options you know uh, you can uh, use these region stuff here and uh, generation parameters like uh, alpha threshold for you know the alpha transparency and it, it's really amazing if you combine a lot of different sprites and put a put in the work you can create a really unique art style with this one Plus, the, since these are textures, you can use, you know, uh, external shaders and uh, stuff like that on top. Like you can uh, add a tune shader on top and do whatever you want. It's a 3D mesh. You can do anything you can do with a 3D mesh with a 2D sprite texture. And it's so easy to set up. And that's about all of this add-on. Uh, I will link down the add-ons GitHub page and give it a star or something like that. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.